Hello and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival version 1.10. My name is Spanch and I do hope you enjoyed the last episode. Uh, if you missed it, then I'll link it uh, at the end of this video. But essentially in this series, I'm going to be trying to run it as a bit of a tutorial series for new players, or players that are trying to get started out here in Empyrean and maybe we're not really sure what the hell they're supposed to be doing. Um, anyway, welcome to the uh, to this episode and as is tradition on my channel we are starting during the night although it is about to be uh, sunrise it is about to be the day which is good because our little base here that we captured took over um a shelter reborn at the end of the last episode we we took this place over now i've done a little bit of block work to it um off camera there just filling in some of the holes uh specifically on this side here there is still one hole where that truss block is there that's uh, somewhat it needs some work. Uh, we have a bit of glass up there that needs doing as well. But otherwise, most of the walls and the floors have now been replaced. And as you can see by the turning off and on of the solar capacitor, uh, what little sunlight we're getting at the moment is starting to power the base up, even if it's just momentarily. So hopefully my little constructor here is able to start work. A little bit at a time while power while power is available on sentry guns I've already done the ammo box uh, some projectile rifle rounds i've lined up a chainsaw and some biofuel and the last window block that we need uh, in order to plug that hole there and then this food this place will be good uh, to go pretty much um as our little base but yeah <laughs> till the sun comes up and charges that capacitor and then we got a build sitting around to do. And still, um, we're in a very good position now. We have somewhere to hold uh, some of the heavier items and stuff like that that we're going to be gathering. And somewhere to respawn at if the worst happens and we end up dying. It's really not the worst. It's <laughs> it's actually a, a, it's a nothing burger. It really is dying in this game. Ah, well, I'll just respawn. Um, with pretty much no penalty whatsoever. Okay, let's just go and get some bits and bobs around here while we wait for the sun to come up. Um, because this is a nice little kind of tropical, not tropical, it's very cold. It's 16 degrees C though, by the standards of the rest of the planet, it's bloody tropical. Um, little oasis that we found on our freezing ice planet here. This is fantastic little find. Uh, not only that, is then there was an abandoned shelter here that we could take over. Uh, and turn into our little base of operations. So there's that. All good, good news. Uh, so yeah, I've got 16 energy bars, a couple of uh, couple of hot beverages to keep us warm. Um, we got the science data, some antibiotic ointments and stuff like that. And of course, our trusty shotgun here. Uh, it might be worth spinning up some pistol rounds. I mean, I'm probably not going to use it with when I've got access to this thing, to be honest. But um, yeah, oh, copper. Okay, yeah, we can't do that then. In fact, that's probably going to cancel out a lot of this stuff then, isn't it? It's going to do this one sentry gun and then cancel the rest. We've got two sentry guns. Okay, well, fine. That's better than no sentry guns, I suppose, isn't it? Let's grab that ammo box then. We'll put that in that corner there. Looks good to me. And uh, grab the two sentry guns. Put one on the front and one on the back, I think. Um... Yeah, so we right click there to get the charred blocks. Slap a sentry gun there. They will have some left righty shooty capacity, but there will be a bit of a blind spot on this base. Damn it. Let's. Oh, yep. We don't have Wi Fi on the base yet, so uh, connecting to it, as I showed you guys last time, will only actually work if you're actually touching the base. So, just bear that in mind. I'm going to take this block out here. Um, because I don't want to turn it into a whole block. And then slap the sentry gun on it. So what we can do, got a concrete block there. You see, uh, you can control right click to copy a, a block that you're pointing at. So hold control, right click, it will copy that shape. Uh, or then just right click and select the shape that you want. Uh, all the textures are messed up at the moment because the base is actually steel, but I'm filling in all the holes with concrete, which has a different set of textures available to it. 
So that's why it looks all kind of a bit higgledy piggledy. I don't mind it so much. I mean, it's, it looks a bit silly, but it also makes it look like it is uh, actually the patchwork of kind of materials and stuff that it is. So, you know, it's okay. Okay, so yeah, it wasn't able to build any of the other things, including the ammunition needed for those sentry guns, uh, but it was able to get the biofuel. We're going to have to go out and get some copper. Fortunately, I know exactly where we can get some copper. It's about 190 meters away, and we've got a diggy diggy thing that can go and get some. So let's head in this direction here on our trusty little hover bike, crash into that rock. In my defense, I couldn't actually see it because for some reason the, the headlights don't turn on. All right, there we go. It's 25 meters down. We got some digging to do, folks. Got some digging to do. All right, well, we're going to set to resource mode. This is going to take a little while. But by the time I've finished here, the sun will be fully up, at least. Yeah, the survival tool isn't actually that bad. Oh, look, looks like we've hit the source of the heat down here. 150 degrees centigrade down here. We're going to cook ourselves. It's like an oven. <laughs> um, so that's picked up 34 copper ore. You use our drone to do the rest. Now that we've mapped out the full size of this deposit. I think, to be honest, I may as well just dig it up. It's like, I'm not going to stay here on this planet. Once we can get off this planet, we're going to leave it. There's no point preserving the deposits for auto miners. A, ain't going to put auto miners on them. Let's just dig them up and go. There we go then. About 138 copper ore out of that. Not bad at all. Um, not bad for our survival tool as well. Digging that out. I do not like digging with this. What is going on with my leg? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It's all gone horribly wrong. Oh my god, my leg should not be doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I fixed it. <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. Uh, anyway, where am I going? I'm not going that way. My home is that way. There we go, right. So we'll get this back to base here. And uh, we'll get that in the constructor and turning into... Well use something useful right um there we go and now this should be able to finish our two sentry guns the bullets that we requested plus those ones and i can't remember what else i like now i'm gonna be honest uh, we should probably do it with a fridge oh it was a chainsaw wasn't it yeah the chainsaw now you can chop down trees with the survival tool here it does take a while though chainsaw is a little bit more efficient has it so i think you just resource mode aim at a tree and you'll be able to chop it up with the laser and there you go four logs um pretty pretty useful stuff logs because it turns into plant fibers basically which you need for quite a lot of stuff actually turns out so i'll put those logs in there we got 14 plant fibers left from however many we had at the end of the last episode. So those logs will help with that. Okay. Um, so I nearly got lost back there because I was following the wrong marker. Uh, what you can do on the map here, should center where you are basically, you find your base, like where it says shelter reborn there, right click and waypoint. Except that. You can also change it to a house symbol if you like. And that'll put a, a permanent marker on your HUD here for this location. That way if we ever get lost or turned around and stuff we know our way home at least. Now the other thing is despite the fact that the sun is up our panels are getting some light as is indicated by these little LEDs here. Uh, the power of the base is still off and on and off and on again because well those two little solar panels are just not bringing enough power. Uh, we could increase the number of solar panels we have but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get myself uh, a generator and a fuel tank. Now, the generator and the fuel tank, they do obviously consume fuel, which we'll need to replace. Um, but it's obviously a much more constant amount of power. And with it being supplemented by solar, it should last quite a long time. We'll be able to run it on biofuel that we create from plant fibers, trees that we just chopped down there. Um, but hopefully we'll find some Promethean fuel that you know, is a little bit more powerful and stuff like that. So just going to my tech tree there and unlock the fuel tank, unlock the generator, and that should enable us to now build 
both of those things. Except it looks like I'm out of something else. This is going to be a reoccurring theme, unfortunately. It looks like we're out of iron now. Yeah, we've got plenty of copper for days. Not enough steel plate. Um, not enough steel plate, or perhaps not enough carbon. We need this stuff, which you get from crushed stone, as well as iron. So, uh, we're going to have to go out and find some of that. No problem. I mean, this was to be expected. We've only just settled here. Still, let's go ahead and slap the last two sentry guns on the base here. We have one facing each direction. Um, and when it comes to rotating blocks and stuff like that, you see me doing this, I'll do it really, really fast because, you know, uh, 5,000 hours <laughs> in period. <laughs> you get the hang of it. But I, I remapped the rotation keys uh, to my mouse. Uh, so I've got sort of thumb, thumb buttons on my mouse. And that really, really helps speed things up. I think by default, they're like page up, page down or something, which is A, the wrong side of the keyboard and B, just just bad, right? So, <laughs> um, Okay, so what I've just done there is I've just put in the ammunition that I crafted, uh, the projectile rifle rounds, which is required for the sentry guns. You can see if you hit P while looking at the base, the ammunition is down in the bottom center here. It'll tell you what ammunition is required for whatever guns you've got on the base here. So... There we go. I made some projectile rifle rounds and then I put them in the ammo box and the guns will automatically pull ammo from the ammo box into themselves via magic fairy dust and they will shoot whatever's nearby. If you go back into the P, uh, what I call the P menu, it's actually the control panel, if I hit P, uh, go into devices, you can see your sentry guns here. Now at the moment, they each individually have a set of targets of stuff that they will shoot. If you click this wonderful little button up here called Auto Group, they will, they will all go under the category of turret. You can now change the targeting parameters of all of the of all of the turrets at the same time. You simply unselect what you don't want them to shoot, and then hit Apply to Group. Now all of them will not shoot generators, for example. At the moment, these sentry guns, I just I just want them to shoot anything and everything. Really, um, that's what sentry guns are for. They clear the predators out. They clear enemies out. Uh, they'll shoot anything and everything, uh, which is exactly what we want them to do. Oh, I tell you what, we've got our last little bit of glass as well. Hallelujah. Bingo. There we go. We are now a sealed base. Should there now be some weather event, such as radiated fog, meteors, or anything like that, we're safe inside here from all of that now that it's sealed. Okay, so iron then. Well, we haven't found any iron yet on the moon. So far, all the deposits have been copper and silicon. Um, but there will be iron somewhere. There are four deposits. We can see on the right-hand side of the map here what deposits are available on this uh, on this planet. And we've even got carbon. Um, there's even cobalt here as well, which is very important uh, because we're going to get a warp-capable small vessel uh, so that we can leave this planet. We're going to need that cobalt. So there's a lot of resources in this blank area on the on the moon here that we've uh, we've not found yet. We need to do a bit of exploring, but of course we've got a mission to go back to the station. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to go do that. Uh, I'm going to take my portable constructor and my heater with me in case they are needed. But I'm going to leave the tent here. Like I said, this would be a safe place to respawn should we really get into trouble. Uh, so let me just make sure. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'll leave the chainsaw here. The chainsaw can be a, a melee weapon. It can be used as a melee weapon, but I don't think we're going to do that today. All right. So let's get on the bike and back to the science station. I do like this thing. It is good. It's about damn time. <laughs> we were suffered so much to that little motorbike, I tell you. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. Just the difference. I mean, to be honest, like a lot of people had uh, already created little hover bikes on the workshop that you could build, but you needed more than five carbon substrate to build them. Um, but, you know, not not by much, but enough that not having a motorbike or motor transport is a little bit of a pain just to get the resources together for even a hover bike. This thing, though, excellent stuff. What we got here, then we got a resource here. That's another silicon. OK, I might drop off and do a little detecty work. See if anything else comes up. There's, oh yeah, yep. Yeah, there's quite a few other resources around here actually. Let's uh, jump back on here. 
see if we can reveal these resources as well. There's a question mark here, which is usually a POI of some description. Maybe it's another one of those broken satellites. Oh, okay, it's another one of these. That actually does have a locker in it. If you remember, one of those lockers gave us our shotgun. So let's go check this one out. You never know. There might be a med kit. <laughs> it's a detox kit. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. That is a okay. Do a little detecting again. There we go. And we got resource 500 meters that way. Resource 200 meters that way. Let's reveal this one first. There we go. The way that a detector works as well, and that is carbon. Okay. Uh, the little mini map in the top right corner, you'll notice these little red markers around the outside. And they kind of, they tell you in what rough direction there are things that have yet to be detected or discovered. So even when you're riding like this, uh, you can actually still uh, detect things, I guess, I suppose, without having to get off and ping the, the pingy thing. But uh, it's not as precise. There we go. There we go. There's an iron deposit. So we'll, we'll pick that up on the way back, I think. Ooh, in, the, in the bushes there, aren't I? I've driven all the way back into nighttime again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We are, we are going around this very small moon, and night and day are going to go very quickly as we travel around, I think. Yeah, we'll pick up that iron on the way back, uh, and that will enable us to continue building some stuff. And then we should have a... Hey! Wee! <laughs> and we should have a good supply of copper and iron, and we've already discovered a bunch of silicon as well. So this thing, you wouldn't get this on the motorbike, I tell you. you get something at that speed on the motorbike, you'd end up underground. <laughs> Somehow just glitched into the world. So, hey, even when the hover bike's being glitchy, it's more useful. Here we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Is that an enemy drone? It is an enemy drone. I have snuck up upon it. Look, it doesn't even know I'm here. It has a forward line of sight. So, uh, I'm, I'm curious as to whether the science station will actually kill it. it. So far, it's not doing anything about it. Which is a shame, because I know that NPC factions are supposed to fight each other at this point but mine now and these guys can have um, quite good stuff in them like a flux coil that's nice uh, and fuel packs I did mention earlier I potentially getting some fuel packs right for the for the generator for the base um, so yeah that's a big win there um, okay we are back did we need to go to the guy upstairs I think deck officer uh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Alright, let's go and see. I've forgotten his name already. I've forgotten his bloody... This guy. Elard Hendrel. There we go. Dr. Hendrel and Dr. Pendrel. <laughs> these guys really thought hard about these names, didn't they? <laughs> he survived thanks to your efforts. Let's hope it was worth it. Thank you for also for sending the report. I have already taken the essential data and the analysis is already underway. You're welcome to keep the unredacted part of the report. Come back later. Maybe we'll have the results by then. See you later. Oh, okay. They gave me 250 money cards and some reputation. That's nice. That's delightful. Here we go. Ooh. Uh, let's go see the trader then. I wonder if he deals in um, data. Sometimes you can sell data to these guys. Look at that, yeah. Sell the sciencey data to this guy. That's 1,700. Bingo, right? I've got an alien organism on me again, so I'll sell that. Lovely. And this guy does sell Promethean packs and stuff, so that's good. Uh, there is no Promethean on this planet, right? No, there is not. Okay. So I'm going to go and preemptively buy um, a couple of multi-charges here. And a couple of drill charges. Um, now I can't use them yet because I don't have a multi-tool or a drill. But it's possible that I'll be able to build one soon. Soon with big inverted commas over the top of it, you know. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, this is the planet planet data stuff again. I, d I do need... I still haven't found that red freaking keycard thing that everything seems to be referencing. But um, maybe... Maybe it will turn up. 
somewhere. I don't know. Uh, okay, so we don't have... We don't have a mission right now. Maybe we can talk to this guy again already. And the data will be analyzed. Perhaps there's a bit of a longer wait to wait before uh, I get another call to action. Welcome back. This was a complete success. The analysis shows signs of self-organizing matter. This opens up incredible options, self-building colonies, self-reinforcing armor. Just think, a revolution. Before I report this, however, we need additional verification. Dr. Hendrel has asked me to bring some samples from another hemisphere of the moon. This is where you come in. Bring us five more samples. Unfortunately, you're going to have to get hands-on with a hishkal. Be prepared. Um, I'm on my way. Hmm, okay. Let me guess. He'll, like, yeah, get a bunch of hishkal. Okay. Uh... Fine. Yeah, that's not a difficult task. It's slightly irritating. It's It reminds me of these old World of Warcraft quests, you know? <laughs> Go and collect two boar tongues. By the way, only one in a million boars have a tongue. Or so, <laughs> yeah. What? Okay, that's ridiculous. Uh, there's some destroyed mining towers over there. Let's go that way. Oh, dear. Something jiggery-pokery is going on there, isn't it? Jiggery. My leg's doing that thing here. <laughs> Yeah, so this new hover bike, it's um, it's not without its quirks, do we say? <laughs> Let's go with quirks. Yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, there's absolutely nothing in this place. There's not even a box. Um, at all. And this this is probably a waste of time. But I wanted to just double check in case my memory was betraying me, and there was actually a box because there's a console down there. Um, but the quickest way to do this is actually probably just go uh, F5 and do a little whip around with the old droney drone. Because this thing can get in and up and down and around, in and out, nice and quickly. Although its range, its range clearly evidently sucks. That is very much a ongoing Elyon please fix, to be honest. Is please, 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 can the drone have a little bit more... Um, range thank you but yeah no I, I think this place is completely empty devoid of anything sometimes you get these little uh ruined pois and just like the kind of drive section earlier they have a box or a, a closet with a med pack or an assault shotgun you know something that's actually useful at this stage of the game so it's always worth checking out there's a drone coming in as well look that's a polaris one actually uh, crash shuttle. Okay, so, oh my god. Well, this is a new development for the, uh, for the hover bike. It keeps doing that now. This could actually be a bit of base, uh, that you could take over. If I remember correctly, there is a box here, and there's some satium plates. There's a core there, and so on and so forth. Oh! Look at that. Another box. Fantastic. Alright. So that wasn't a complete loss. That was quite good, actually. Let's do a little ping. Yeah, look at that. It's quite a lot around here, really. Um, now, we are actually... Oh, my God. Is there a way to stop it from doing that, please? Oh, dear. <laughs> that's that's only slightly irritating. i got to admit, that's uh, putting me off the old hover bike a little bit right now. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, I, I, you know, it was going to do this, wasn't it? Because I was absolutely heaping the praise on for this thing. And uh, let's try picking it up and, and see if that works. I was heaping on the praise. I was being like, this thing's amazing. So, of course, it's a friggin' laser rifle. That's awesome. So, of course, it's now like, yeah, yeah, you think, huh? Let me show you just how great it is. All right, there's a, there's a hish cal over there. Ice golem. Um, so they've updated the... Let me on the bloody bike. Oh dear. Yeah, I might. It might be I need to restart the game or something. This seems to be. Anytime I move. Anytime I move, basically. I'll try restarting the game once I kill this guy. Um. Yeah, so you mouse over them. Look, it's Ice Golem. <laughs> yeah, everywhere is calling them the Hishkal. Only slightly confusing for new players, of course. The hell is a Hishkal? Um. I mean, confusing for me as well, because i never heard that term before today. Uh, right. There's something over there. And there was something down down over there, I think. Resources. Yeah, down there, look. Two resources and something over there. 
Uh, but I'm going to quickly restart the game and see if it fixes the motorbike issue. Alright. Let's check this one again then. Here we go. I'll do a little pingy ping. Pingy ping ping ping. Oh, I am the verge of hypothermia again. Let's uh, let's down a bevy or two. There we go. Lovely. Right. Oh dear. No. Restarting the game has not fixed it. Um. Well. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to come up for maybe some answers as to why it's doing that. It's just a bit broken right now. It's strange. It was fine for a while. Um, and now not so much. Right. So, yeah, when a resource does that, like it doesn't reveal, even though you're right next to it. You just need to look at it, basically, and um, that should sort it out. Not allowed. Well, I'll show you the power of my gen pack. Oh, look. <laughs> that is... I am being so feckin' jammy. <laughs> that is super jammy. That's a lot of jam right there, that is. That is much jam. This is a great one to take over, the little small farm. It comes with grow plots. It comes with a um, a solar panel already in place. It comes with a free electric drill, a laser drill. <laughs> okay, I can't guarantee the laser drill will be there every time, but it's pretty damn good. Okay, so there's a cobalt here as well, which is very small. We're going to need a little bit of cobalt. We only need a little bit of cobalt uh, in order to get a SV warp drive, so that's fine. Um, there's an, a medium iron deposit right next to this place as well. I mean, other than its location, that is a pretty damn good base. Oh, dear. Maybe it's the biome we're on. I don't know, but um, hopefully we can um, stop jiggling about soon. All right, another crash shuttle. We already know that these guys have got some goodies in them. Not much in this one. We can take the core out. We can always take the core out and actually salvage this down. We can get the salvage and stuff like that. But with the um, with the salvage tool, you don't get much at all. You really don't. I'd rather save all this for like when I've got a multi-tool or something and actually get um, a decent amount of salvage out of them. Oh, look at this big lake down here. This looks amazing. Only I can appreciate it when uh um on my bike come back to me where did you go oh my god <laughs> um I, I I I thought it was gonna hover its way over the water you know like a hovercraft apparently it just goes into the water like the old bike did it's around here somewhere the marker's right in front of me there Mr. Bike. There it is. Pick it up. Now we know. Um, yeah. Don't, don't ride the bike over, <laughs> over water. <laughs> Oops. Anyway. Where were we? Oh, yes. We were jiggling about like a crazy person. Oh, look, we got some ruins and stuff. Hey, these are quite good, actually. Apart from the raptors, these guys usually contain some uh, fruits and vegetables and stuff. That wasn't very good, right? Give me... Give me your meat. Where did you go? How dare you? Just regular old meat today. No raptor meat commodities. Oh boy, we're going to have to try and get uh, SV in very, very soon, I fear, guys. Because uh, I'm not sure how much more I can tolerate that. Kind of giving me a headache, i got to admit. Oh! Yeah, absolutely effed, me. Effed! All right, getting some nice vegetables and stuff. That's quite good. And yoink. Yeah, that was good. Good little tower, that. And then this one. Huge tower. I don't think if memory serves, and I could be wrong here. Oh, I got to reload. What the?
Teleporting Raptors confirmed. Right, well, at least we should be getting some raptor meat for this. Yeah. Don't forget, again, shift F to instantly harvest. Boom. Two hits. Get that. Now we can pick up some surface rocks. Oh, yeah, that's nice and quick. See, this is one of the plants. You remember last episode I was saying about how some of them look like you can pick but can't? Example A. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't think there's anything in this one. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly run the drone around. Because uh, it goes up quite a way. And if I was a box, I'd be at the top, right? Probably going to get a look at it without the drone cutting out. Oh, it's doing quite well. Quick run. Nope. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can check this up. I don't think there is anything in there. Uh, let's move on. Yay! Jiggly, 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 jiggly. More raptors, though. Don't I see him bum? It's just a jiggly planet, guys. Just a jiggly planet. Oh man, I guess I'm not looting that guy. Just a jiggly, jiggly planet. Everything jiggles on Ningues. Must be the cold. I think he's got a fluffy tail. Pull his tail. Right. I think we can get out of here now. Although there are a couple of other POIs up on the hills here. But these are the ruins of an ancient Talon civilization that once was here and is, oh, hey, is now not. Um, but like I said, these ones are useful just for getting those like vegetables and stuff like that. The idea is to have your own little farm. And with growing your own plants and stuff like that, you need these things. Although I do need a fridge to keep them fresh. You'd think in this temperature, I could just stick them in a box outside. <laughs> they'd be fine. <laughs> uh, they'd be very, very frozen, but fine. All right, so I think that's it around here. Oh. Hey, look. We're not jiggling. There we go. Ah, no, never mind. <laughs> like I reminded it. I reminded it. Hey. Do what everybody expects you to do. That's quite a nice view. Quite a view we've got up here. Let's take a moment to ping the world. Hello, world. I'm king of the... Holy crap, there's nothing here. Wow. This is a desolate and barren landscape. Very well. Let us continue our exploration in this direction. I'm upside down. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. Everything's fine. Right, I found another ice column, fish cow thing, whatever. Let's hope this guy has got what we need on him. God, this thing is brutal. <laughs> it's such a brutal weapon. Um, No, no. Still zero samples. Still zero specimens. Um, The... Golems seem to be very few and far between now that I'm actually looking for them, which is which is typical of my luck. It really is. Um, there's a cobalt deposit here as well. Do a little ping. Despite being up in the mountains, where I think that their population would be quite significant, resource and a thing down south, and then let's head north. Yep. Every time I see one, I'll stop and murder it. Ooh, submerged tanks. Now then. If I recall correctly. Jesus, this is so irritating. I'm so sorry, guys. I really am. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be anything I can do about that. Um, the jiggling is real. Yeah, if I recall correctly, there's three containers in here. Look at that. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I've got the inventory space for this. I really don't. I'm going to be able to take that titanium. Um, what can we dump? We can dump that. We don't need that. I'll take the Neo instead of that. Um, 
To be honest, the uh, I'll probably just go ahead and eat that. There we go. I'll eat the raw. I'll take the insulation. We've already got an insulation boost, but I figure I could sell it. It's quite a little bit more valuable. All right, what else we got? What else can we do? We got titanium. There's satium. SMG is garbage. There's another insulation boost anyway. Um, we've got more than enough copper back at base, so I'll sacrifice that. Uh, the alien tooth, I will sacrifice for the SMG. Again, the SMG is not particularly great, but uh, it's probably a little bit more valuable than... Oh! Hey! <laughs> Who's dropping spiders on my head? You bastard. Uh, here's, here's a delightful little herring. <laughs> it's lovely, that is, isn't it? Um, honestly... Oh. Right, okay, well... Let me, let me have a beverage. Hang on. The beverage. Keep myself back up again. There we go. Lovely. The one um, purple leaf is not going to be useful. And the alien thorn. I think we can use that in some medicines. But it is in this anti-toxic. I would like one of those. It would be useful to get one of those at some point. Uh, but it's not necessarily like vital. Anyway, that's enough for the assault shotgun. And... I'll sacrifice the sniper rounds for the oxygen. Although, if they, in theory, like the steel plate and nanotubes are pretty. Oh, the alien parts. Now the alien parts can go. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> the alien parts. Yeah. Yeah, so I can't see them. They just blend in, don't they? Um, guess I'm not looting that spider then. Can I do that? Yeah, there we go. I'll have the meat. The meat is good. Spider meat. Mmm, delicious. Hey! Stop. Dropping spiders on me okay it's not cool bingo you have enough jetpack to get the hell out of here burn <laughs> they're very well armed aren't we like seriously well armed uh, okay there was a resource around here somewhere as well I think that way oh no that way there we we'll go check that out okay Oh, he lived. He was a level three one, though. There he goes. Yeah, I can't pick up the uh, copper or the crushed stone from there. We really need to get back to base now. And put all this stuff into storage and some kind of use. Let me do a quick uh, ping. Quite fun yeeting the motorbike. <laughs> like, I think I'm going to yeet it too. Yeah, there's nothing else around here, I think. Uh, okay. To home. All right, let's get a fridge built uh, with a few bits and bobs that we've managed to pick up there. We have enough iron, I think, to, to get a fridge. And then hopefully I can put all this stuff in there. It won't spoil. Well, that's the theory, at least, anyway. Of course, the fridge requires a constant power source, so it's not guaranteed. But the batteries on my base seem to be uh, have a little bit of power in them. Everything is turned on. We can see, if we look at the control panel... We've got about two minutes left of power. <laughs> yeah. But that is while this is running. So if we turn that off, we have three minutes left of power. Every minute counts, I suppose, you know? <laughs> uh, right. Put the fridge then. Put that right there. And we'll put all this stuff in it. There we go. Um, lovely. Everything else can go in there. Uh, but yeah, we've got some spoiled food. Obviously, some things haven't survived. Um, not being in a fridge. That's pretty normal. Okay, so I'm about to die of starvation. But I like to run my food bar down to, like, really low before I start chowing down on my dwindling food supplies. It's just, it's called rationing. Oh, it's also triggering half the chat, which is always hilarious. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Uh, right, let's get a, a generator. I think that's probably going to kill the rest of our iron. Yep, there it goes. Uh, that's fine. We can maybe uh, get the fuel tank some other means. In the meantime, we can sort this by item type, my favorite, and uh, puts a little bit of organization in there. Oh, we've got some pistol rounds now. It did actually manage to do that, look. And we can disconnect from that. There we go. Um, 
So actually getting some iron now is going to be really, really easy. We know that there's a deposit just down here somewhere. Yep. And another one. Mm, I just did discover one, but I've forgotten where it is now. It's all the way over there. Okay, fine. So we can head down there. Uh, we'll pick up that iron. Maybe pick up a bit of silicon if we've got the capacity for it. And then we're going to have a look into whether we can get a vessel of some kinds in. And that'll be our first proper actual hand-built vessel. Hand-built and created mode by me, of course. I ain't building it in survival. I already talked about that. <laughs> I've done that already. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Oh, I'm in the jungle now. Oh, I could have just gone around the jungle. Everything's fine. Okay. Pick you up so that I know that I have the ability to pick that up. I think he's coming this way. Still, we got a laser drill now, which is super lucky. And this thing drills holes like there's no tomorrow. Oh my God, look how quick that is. After playing Reforged so often, so much, this is just amazing. <laughs> this is just amazing. Look how quickly it mines. Look how quickly it mines. You know me and my my feelings on mining. I'm not particularly a uh, big fan of of mining. So the fact that it's so fast in vanilla is just delightful. All right, yeah, he has come this way. Look, all right, but that's fine because I've got a bit of a surprise for him when he comes overhead. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Get fucked. Right. <laughs> there he is. That's what happens. That's what happens. Dolls. I was like, where's my where's my hobbit thing? It's in my pocket. Okay. Uh, I haven't got any more room for silicon, so I'm going to run this back to base and then quickly go out and get some silicon, rinse and repeat, and then uh, I'll meet you guys back at base. Because the silicon's right there, look. Whoa, check it out, guys. I haven't just found an old quarry. Now, I've not seen this one before. This may be new. Or maybe I just haven't played vanilla in so long. I gotta flip it. There's no power here, so I don't think it does anything. But this is an old quarry. This looks pretty dope. An old ship or something down there. Oh, hello. I saw something moving. Oh, cool. Are they killing each other? Or are they, they're coming for me? <laughs> they're just like, let's attack each other. Oh, wait, player. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. Fell. Well, got the arachnid. I mean, they're squishy and fleshy. There's definitely boxes here, though. Look at that. Circuit boards, I like it. And a little ship. Oh, hello. I'm in. I'm in, but there's nothing in here. <laughs> there's a little wee little console, and that's it. Any engines I can steal? Nope. Damn. Kind of cool, though. Still, the RP value of this is awesome. Oh, another box. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Still, no organisms. Oh, more. Look at them down there. A whole freaking party of them. Have I, have I stumbled into their, like, their base? Good job I got a good gun. Look at that. That looks like a fight. Oh, don't be all the way in the rock. Got him. You, wait, what? Hold on. Hold on a second. Hi! Hello, biological. Please be careful about the frenzies. They will try to kill you. Don't be afraid to defend yourself. Wait, why did you stop talking to me? Talk to me more. Uh, their essence will not be lost. No way! <laughs> uh, that's nice. Um, I'm hoping that was a heavy weapons upgrade. Please be a red key card. 
Talk to Dr. Onko Kial, scientist. The radiation of the progenitor artifacts seem to not only uh, be not only the origin of the Hishkals and their evolution, it also unfortunately makes them more and more aggressive the stronger the radiation becomes. Soon, a point of no return could be reached. It's imperative that we investigate the other population of Hishkal on other planets. Unfortunately, I will not live to see that happen. Progenitor radiation will slowly kill me, even if I don't leave this shielded cave. I hope someone will find my recordings and continue the research with the Hishkal. They are well guarded. So, not a red keycard then, huh? Damn. That's cool, though. That's a total little twisty twist I didn't see coming. They're friendly. They're just gone berserkos because of the radiation. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. That sucks. Well, I will murder your um, enraged brethren. Don't worry. They have something I need. They're not willing to give it up, though. Jeez, I'm going to kill about five of them by now and still not got one organism. One specimen. Not one. Damn it. Oh, wait. Did I see that? Did I see that? The Brotherhood of Far. <laughs> well, well, well. Hmm. Who knew? The Brotherhood have been involved here with some mining stuff. Go away. What do you want? What are you doing? Huh? Get up. Honestly, I'm not surprised. They get their mitts into everything, the Brotherhood. You think they're an innocent little... Ooh, hole. Secret hole! Secret hole. Oh, ooh, another hole. I'm delving into holes, and I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I'll take your plant fibers. Ooh, this is secret. Where does it go? Into a dead end? No, not a dead end. Uh, another secret hole. Hang on. Can I get in here? No, this is a dead end. <laughs> no, I was getting so excited. Can't dead end me. No, to, no, 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 no. I found a secret hole. You're gonna give me a reward. You can't, you can't just, you can't just dead end me like this game. Mother it's just dead ended me. What a dick. You find a secret hole. You get, oh, never mind. It's, uh, it's owned by the alien structure. I can't actually do anything to it. Um, but this is interesting. Okay. Oh, no, dead ended. Stop dead ending me. Come on, man. Salvage. Yeah, it's got it's a, it's an admin core. It's an, I can't do anything to it. I can't even you know, I can't even dig. I can't even dig. Guys, I'm gonna even dig my way out. Oh my god. Yeah. Man, I got all kind of like, yay, I found a secret. Well You did, but you suck, Spanch, so no, no rewards for you. Just pain and suffering and... Oh my god, I only just got out of that. <laughs> ah, that was close, right? Um, which means I can't even loot the oxygen out of that. Or anything. Uh, right, I think that's it. I think that is the old quarry. Although that was fun and exciting and I enjoyed. Um, although it was slightly betrayed by the dead ending. Not overly happily with the dead ending. Anyway, um, let's get out of it and carry on our merry way. We were on a, on a supposed to be picking up silicon. <laughs> right, welcome back. I've just noticed that I'm basically out of shotgun rounds. So I went through that 150. There's a there's a mag left, or whatever. But I can't make any more, so I need to go into my tech tree. Bit of weapons. And double click shotgun there. That should enable me to now make shotgun shells. It does indeed. So I'm going to get a couple of those going. Um, probably 30 is a bit too many. As they make in batches of 30. So, yeah. Uh, right. So we've got iron. We've got silicon. We've got copper. We've got a little bit of cobalt as well. Um, tiny little bit of crushed stone. I chucked most of my crushed stone away because uh, I need it. Well, I didn't need it at the time. And it's so easy to get crushed stone uh, that I sacrificed the space for more of the other resources. All right, power is still flickering on and off. Let's get that generator. I'm going to connect to the, the thing here and do this properly. Um, now, I'm going to do something rather alarming and stick this outside, only because I don't have room for it inside. 
at the moment. But I'm going to stick it around here next to this pipe. Maybe I can stick it in place of this pipe, actually. I think that would look quite good. We do salvage mode on these bits of pipe here. Typically, you'd want your generator to be inside, covered in armor, and not exposed to the elements. However, I have a limited space, so I'm going to stick there. <laughs> It'll be fine. It will probably be fine. Um, I hope it'll be fine. Yeah, let's go with that. I hope it'll be okay. Uh, the drones on this planet seem to be rather pathetic and stupid, so I'm hoping that, uh, you know, they won't blow up my generator. Uh, hopefully that fuel tank will be along any second in a minute, and uh, I can stick it here. And everything will be fine. And then uh, we can put some fuel in here, and this thing will stop turning off and on and up and on and up and on and on. Yeah, okay. So it's a little way away, but there's 390 rounds of shotgun shells, which I'll take half of for now. There we go. I've got a little bit left in base. Um, should I need it? Cool. All right, I'm going to go and chop some trees then uh, while we wait for that. Now, the tree chopping thing is all about um, getting wood that we can turn into biofuel. So you saw how I chopped trees with the survival tool. Let's see. Chop some trees with the old chainsaw. Hmm. I was about to be like, hey, look how quick that was. We need to science this. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so I've got two identical trees. That one and that one right there, okay? So, with this one... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, call it five and a half seconds. Now then, same tree. Survival tool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I do you know what? Mm, uh, I probably started the survival tool a little early. Basically. The survival tool and the chainsaw take the exact same amount of time to chop a tree down. But do you know what? The survival tool doesn't use fuel. That makes the chainsaw completely and utterly redundant. No. Oh. Well. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't set out about on this series to embarrass the chainsaw, I really didn't. But there we go. Uh, don't bother. Yeah. Also, Elion, please fix. Thank you. Anyway, um, once you have some wood, another little cheeky trick you can do is put it into the portable constructor outside and then just using control, click, line up a bunch of biofuel. And what that should be doing... Once you turn it on, sorry, my bad, little on switch that's up there, is it will work away and convert all that into biofuel. And because this thing doesn't run on the power grid of your base, it'll do it completely for free. It won't consume fuel or anything to do it. So the portable constructor still has a very, very valid use. And that is the basically... Hello. I don't know what the game is trying to do right now, but it's trying to interrupt me. All right, I put a little bit of fuel into there. And then, obviously, the biofuel that we're making as well will go into there. Now, that means our base now has a four-hour, um, we'll call it five-hour runtime. So, that's good. Um, now, I'll go to the statistics here. Just double-check the base attack section of the statistics thing. Next attack, blank. So, no base attacks we need to worry about. No need to put big honking guns on the top of this shelter or anything like that. It'll do just as with the sentry guns here. Now, if there was going to be a base attack, I would be looking to very, very quickly upgrade uh, my base with a projectile turret or two. This is these guys down here, which I have already unlocked, which was kind of a little bit silly of me, but uh, it'll be okay. Anyway, um, I did want to say I wanted to get a, a, a vessel in by the end of this episode. Uh, fortunately, that is not going to happen. We're basically out of time. But before we do... Uh, part ways for this episode. I will just quickly take you through how we're going to do that. Uh, 
So here, F2. Now, if you um, have subscribed to any of the ships at the end of these episodes, where I show you what ships I'm using, then they will appear in here. Bear in mind that if you have the game running when you subscribe to an item on the workshop, it will not load into your game until you restart the game, okay? So just bear that in mind. Now, the ship that I'm going to be using today is one of my, my all-time favorite dying SVs. And it is the Mark V Nightshade. Now, the Mark V Nightshade is... is it's a little bit of a, a, a crazy ship, really, because it, it's... It's just a small vessel, but it has so much thrust that you can stack it full of stuff, right? It's just it's literally overpowered. <laughs> it's so overpowered. Um, but it has a warp drive, or at least it has the space for one. It has a shield, or at least it has the space for one. Uh, it costs a little bit of Neo, as you can see. Um, four titanium rods, which we had. The Neo, which we have, because we got it lucky from those boxes there. Cobalt, which we can get. The iron, which we can get. The silicon, copper, and carbon, we can all get. So this is what I'm going to be working on. But that is the cost in resources. There is also a cost in unlocks, okay? And now they're listed sort of down here. Um, this creates a little bit of back and forth at the moment, okay? So it says the following 22 devices need to be unlocked in the tech tree. Wireless connection, O2 station, fridge detector, container extension, dot, 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 dot. Okay, so we'll go out through and list all those things. One day, um, I hope there will be a unlock all button <laughs> just to like me and bam <laughs> if you have the unlock points that would be so cool um but we're gonna have to do it manually okay so i have to try and remember what's in this thing so we know that there's a generator in it we know that there's a detector in it we know there are gatling guns in it there are fuel tanks uh pretty sure there's small thrusters and medium thrusters for sure I always always think there's a p2 extension in there somewhere uh, we can quickly split back with F2, back to F3. Uh, the uh, wireless connection, O2 station, fridge extension, jet thruster, small. Uh, oh, that was F3. The wireless extender, weirdly, is in MISC, by the way. Uh, there we go. There it is. Uh, so O2 station, armor locker. I think it said fridge. Container extension. I unlocked the all one there by accident. Oopsies. The jet thruster is there. Uh, it doesn't have passenger seats. Uh, I think it has spotlights. Uh, back to F2. Um, container controller ammo, mobile constructor, SV, shutter door, RCS, and pentaxi tank. RCS, mobile constructor, pentaxi tank, ammo controller, ramps. Was it ramps? Landing gears. Uh, two devices, shutter doors and short range warp drive. Shutter doors and short range warp drive. And there we go. We've unlocked everything. We can now add that to the factory. And now we can start adding resources in. We have the level. We have the level. We have the technology. And now we can actually start building it. So I'll get my constructor working through this ore, turning it into ingots. And then we'll be able to drag that stuff in in the next episode but unfortunately ladies and gents that's all we have time for today uh i do hope you've enjoyed and i do hope you're enjoying this new little uh tutorial series of imperial galactic survival and thank you so much for watching uh hopefully i'll see you next time until then take care bye bye